All right, well, Thursday from on the border. I don't, I don't mind confessing this. I thought we'd start talking about X Factor instead. Boy, Kevin Acey really dropped a bombshell, and that was, I think it's a bombshell story, that Norv Turner and A.J. Smith are going to be fired, and Kevin Acey came on the show. He talked about that. And this is what Kevin A.C. had to say. I think it was a foregone conclusion, obviously, for, for North, all right? Uh, the A.J. Smith is the real, that the, there would be confirmation of that is the real news. There's just something that I've been trying to find out. And, and eventually uh, you, you, you piece it together and, and from various people and you're comfortable to go with it. And there is no doubt in my mind that uh, these are the decisions that have been made regarding those two guys. Well, and I'll say it again. I've been very careful not to throw Dean under the bus, but I've always told the truth. The difference this year is Dean won't change his mind. Uh, AJ is, is fairly recently, and I do believe that the way I wrote it was, you know, he's resigned to the fact that he, he has to. And that's not me saying, because I haven't talked to Dean about this, that's not me saying that Dean doesn't also think it's the right thing to do, but the way it's being characterized to me is, you know, hey, there's really not anything else he can do at this point, given how bad it has gotten and the evidence that's out there. The Chargers, I think predictably, came out and denied that report in their own clever way by saying everything is speculation at this point and only Dean Spanos knows what he's going to do. So obviously a very, very interesting day here at On the Border. And Marty, I'll start with you. Since you were the first person that I heard of who mentioned Jimmy Ray as a potential successor to A.J. Smith, your thoughts today as these events unfolded? Well, my first thought was the people we've talked to in the past, whether guys like LaDainian Tomlinson or Jim Trott or even Kevin Acey, have mentioned that Dean Spanos does not like big Big change. He doesn't like confrontations. And that's why many people thought as little as two weeks ago that A.J. Smith would still be the guy. But Darren, you've seen, or actually more so, you have not seen what's happened because the games have been blacked out. It looks like the Chargers are on pace for five blackouts this season. Fan misery. It's getting worse week after week after week. The reason why I thought Jimmy Ray he is respected by the Chargers, and if you keep Jimmy Ray, you keep your scouting department in check, starting with John Spanos, who would be promoted to Jimmy's, Jimmy Ray's role as director of player personnel. So by keeping Jimmy Ray, who interviewed with the Bears and previously interviewed with the Chiefs, you keep your system intact. It's not a huge blow-it-up, start-from-scratch type move. No, it's not. Are you holding the mic, or is it me? So, you know, I, and you know, I have thoughts about the reaction from the Chargers and the denial, or, or you know, the half kind of denial, and... Yeah, I don't mean to sound like I'm splitting hairs here, but people pay a lot of money for public relations, and they understand that these statements that come out sometimes need to be crafted in a way that they say just nothing enough, if that makes any sense. And I think that's really what the Charger statement's all about today. Uh, I'm going to go on record as saying that today, I do believe Kevin Acey. I do believe that Kevin Acey's sources are telling him this, and I don't think Kevin goes with this unless he has very, very good sources for a couple of reasons. He got burned last year by saying that Norv was going to be fired, and it didn't happen, and I think everybody agrees. That was a last-minute changing of the mind by Dean Spanos that I don't think he will do this year. This team is 4-8. and eight. Nobody thinks they're going to win against Pittsburgh. I can make a case that they're not going to win another game except for maybe Oakland. So... What will happen, I, we're going to have to wait four weeks from Monday to actually get verification on this. My only point to you, Marty, would be if you know that the general manager who's going to replace A.J. Smith is in your building in Jimmy Ray, and you know this is going to be your move, I get why you don't fire Norv, but I don't understand why you don't let A.J. Smith go at this point. Do you have any possible reasons why they wouldn't do it if, in fact, this report's true and Jimmy Ray's the next GM? I'm, I'm, not, too, I'm not too sure why. You know, I'm not too sure why. And to his point, to AC's report last year, Norv Turner thought he was going to be fired as well. Norv Turner, I know this for a fact, told people at the very last game, which is Chargers Raiders, that he was going get, to get fired. So... Dean Spanos did change his mind. I mean, North thought he was getting fired, and A.J. was kind of 50-50 in the fence, but I just think that this year has been so bad. People are tired of injuries. People don't want to hear with special teams. People don't want to hear about this player being developed. It, it has to end with Norv. I, but with A.J. Smith, I, I'm not sure why you keep but you only have four games left. And what people have said from day one, when Norv Turner makes a decision, whether with A.J. or Dean, it wasn't going to happen with A.J. Or, 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 I'm sorry, A.J. or Norv. It was not going to happen during the season. It's going to happen after the season. AC just happened to go ahead and break that story today, sooner rather than later. Yeah, and, and again, now we're all in wait-and-see-what-happens mode. So 
Wait and see what happens. It's going to be a very, very strange, it's going to be a very, very strange situation because whether they win or lose on Sunday, what's the first question you're going to ask Norv? What's Norv going to be asked at the podium on Monday? What are we, what are we, what are we, what are we going to ask Philip Rivers and Antonio Gates and Eric Weddle? What do you guys think about it? So now, like Phil Sims said today in the show, it becomes a very big topic for these players, and it's not going to go anywhere. Nope. As a matter of fact, we'll be talking about it 2 o'clock on Friday on Double X 1090. Till then, at Marty Caswell, at D. Smith Show. Enjoy the rest of your day.